Vladimir can be terrifying when he's scaled up, so if you fancy giving him a go and want to sparkle in the sun, here's a video that you can watch even in Champ Select. It's Kairos here with another short guide for you. Vladimir is an absolute scaling beast of a mage who excels at sustaining himself through even the most grueling of fights. He has a massive AoE damage output, especially with his ultimate, and a solid way of escaping ganks and sticky situations with him being untargetable during his W. Vladimir is, however, extremely weak and fragile in the early game, and if he wastes his pool, he's super vulnerable to ganks and all-ins. So Vlad has a few different main rune options, depending on matchups, but the one we're gonna cover today is his most common setup, based around Phase Rush. Phase Rush really helps Vlad out with his trading, and he can proc and abuse the movement speed really easily throughout the game. After that, fill the sorcery tree out for some movement speed, ability haste, and scaling. For your secondary tree, head over to Inspiration with Boots and Cosmic Insight. On Vladimir, you'll always want to max Q first. It's your main farming, trading, and sustaining ability, so it's really a no-brainer. After that, you're gonna max your E and finally your W to finish. Hextech Rocket Bell is the go-to mythic item for Vladimir. It grants him some amazing stats while also allowing him to gap close, which, combined with his ultimate, is quite a blood-curdling experience for his foes. Cosmic Drive is a solid item to grab, granting a significant burst of movement speed which is easily procced by Vladimir's full combo. Rabadon's Death Cap is a great scaling item if you're looking to absolutely decimate your opponents while scaling higher with more AP items bought. Void Staff is definitely an item to get yourself when you need enough penetration to take down tankier foes. Spirit Visage is amazing to take against heavy AP team comps while also drastically increasing your own sustain. Zhonya's Hourglass is a solid item to take on any mage champion. Combining your W, the invulnerability active, and your tremendous amounts of sustain will turn Vlad into an unkillable monster who shrugs off any threats with ease. Morella Namkant is a necessity to take against heavy sustain comps. Consider an early Oblivion Orb to take care of any such champions in lane phase. Magi's Soul Stealer is a high risk reward item that's amazing on Vlad if you're able to get some early kills, snowballing the game into your advantage. Against easier matchups, you'll want to completely abuse your lane opponent by harassing them down with your empowered Qs and use your E to farm minion waves while also poking out your lane opponent. Once you reach level 6 and unlock your ultimate, look for opportunities to go in for the kill. Often, Vladimir can simply win lanes by out-sustaining and out-farming his enemies. Try to accelerate the game wherever possible so you can take over in the late game once you get a few items. Against harder lanes, you'll want to hang back and be careful. Use your Q to last hit minions and restore health while reserving your W for times when you need to escape, as you are quite vulnerable without it. Once you level your ultimate, you can try and look for opportunities to deal massive amounts of damage to your lane opponents, or even look to influence other lanes. Remember, Vlad scales hard, so keep up the farm and wait for that glorious item power spike. Vladimir synergizes well with champions that can complement his AoE damage in teamfights. Anyone with consistent or strong engage can set up a beautiful wombo combo and easily delete entire teams together. So in the lane phase, you'll want to play it safe and focus on acquiring gold and experience. Make sure to abuse the fact that you have no resource restriction and spam your abilities to farm and sustain in lane. Try to hit as many minions as you can with your E, while also hitting your lane opponent whenever possible. To rack up the pressure, you can charge up the ability to increase the damage, but beware in the early game because this also increases the health cost. Remember that your W causes you to be completely untargetable and ghosted through its duration, so keep an eye out for any incoming ganks or major abilities so that you can completely avoid the danger and back off safely. This ability is also a fantastic tool for dives, either stalling out the fight if you're being dove or allowing you to reset turret aggro if you're on the offensive. Your level 6 is a very sizable power spike. Look for opportunities to whittle down opponents so you can go for a massive all-in and grab some kills. In team fights, you'll want to stick with your team. Don't stray too far away as you can easily be caught out and bursted down. Vladimir deals an insane amount of damage in the mid to late game, so don't be afraid to pop your cooldowns and burst enemies down if you see the opportunity. Vlad's AoE damage potential in team fights is one of the highest in the game. Look for the opportunity to use your game-changing ultimate when your enemies are grouped up. This is easy to do when your opponents are gathered up for an objective, so dive on in and lay out your full combo while they're preoccupied with Drake or Baron. If you hit a 5-man combo with a few items, you can genuinely win fights by yourself. Remember your W, Zhonya's, and Summoner spells are all fantastic tools to use both offensively and defensively. 
so play around these as much as you can. Here are three tips for Vlad. Remember that you have a certain period of time in which to use your empowered Q. A quick W, charged E, or even a Zanya's can freeze the duration, allowing you to become much less predictable. If you time your W correctly, you can completely fizzle out some devastating projectiles like Syndra R and Caitlyn R. You will want to use a combination of your charged E, flash R, empowered Q, W to deal a massive amount of damage to your target. That's all for this short guide on Vladimir, hope you enjoy.